Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Peach Boxing presents the Fighting Irish. We're here at the ABA in Auckland, New Zealand, on the 18th of November. Isaac Savage here at Glad Rap Channel, joined by the NZPBA Super Welterweight Champ, Mr. Business, Shay Brock himself. Welcome, Shay, to this Irish fight night. Nah, well, it's a hell of a night we've had so far, and I'm mean, looking forward to it getting even better. Next, look at this guy, Stefan in the red corner, the Bounty Hunter. Once again, another creative nickname. He's got a huge bio, but he can be famously quoted, or his favourite quote would be, up the RA. His favourite god is the Egyptian sun god Ra. And look at him there, supporting green, just like an Irish fighter would. Looking like he's just come off the soccer field. Or football field, as I'd say, over there. Yeah, come on, get it right. I wonder if he's got shin pads on too. Looks like it. Or well, he's at least got them taped up. I've never seen a boxer come out like this before. He's uh, Is he wearing soccer boots as well? I, I thought so for a moment as well. Might give him more grip in that ring. If you don't know what an Irish man looks like, just certainly look at Stefan, the bounty hunter there in the red. Take corner. a photo, use it as a reference. Next up, out of the blue corner, we've got John Nightmares. He was born in Wilderness. Abandoned and raised by a pack of wolves. Against all odds, he fought like an infant. Uh, sorry, from an infant, he fought to the top of the food chain, being forced to kill or be killed. Now, at the age of 25, he's a legend. He still supports his uh, wolf family, and he's destined to fulfil his legacy within the ring. What a buyer that is there! Awesome, I, I love it, eh? I, I love the, the sense of humor these um, Irish have. He's also stated he was, uh, he spent three years in Papua New Guinea where he was adopted by the mud men. In his words himself. He's also learned to hide like John Rambo and wait for the state sheriff. He's like carried away now. He's getting a little carried away. Sorry, this blow is just uh, it's, it's a few chapters long and I can't get through all of it. So I'm just going to say the guy in the green and the red, Stefan the Bounty Hunter. You could have loved the bows tonight. Usually we're struggling to get info from these guys, and tonight they're providing full chapter stories. Yeah, but where's the banter afterwards? Like, um, no, we had some crazy ones tonight. I'm still laughing about the high ace, and I did see an Irish high ace outside that did look slightly female. Yeah, what, was it a feminine band? Could you tell? <laughs> did you have a look? <laughs> Like it's, it's, like I said, I've heard, I've heard, and the MC is actually turning a bit wild himself. He's getting amongst it. He's getting behind this Irish crowd. I think he's had a few Guinnesses himself. Ah, wouldn't be surprised. Remember, it has, it has run out. Yeah, you're right. They ordered about five kegs, and they were run out by the time the doors opened. Look at this. We've got the Stefan, the Bounty Hunter in the green, versus Jamie Nightmares. Nightmares. you got to love that little pun there. Little and play on words. Who's it going to be? The Nightmare or the Bounty Hunter? Nightmare in the blue. The soccer player, Bounty Hunter in the red. This is an absolute wild slugfest. Looking something 
Looking like a little Those bit body of body um, not even seem to affect the young fella. It must be the result of being raised by wolves, perhaps. Oh, and just as you said that, he the, catches a the few nightmare the head, three got in clocked by the bounty hunter. The bounty hunter wants wants to take home his bounty. He wants to get paid, and if he doesn't clock the nightmare. He's not going to get that cash. Well, a great man once told me, break necks, get chicks. Oh, and just oh. as you said that! Break necks, get chicks. Mr. Business just called it. The right, the left, it clocked the bounty hunter, who certainly won't be taking any bounties home after eating a shot like that. And that corner two earlier is still the first round, and we've seen the fighting spirit of these uh, Irish fighters. Oh! Just as you said that, Nightmare clocks the bounty hunter, but the, the bounty hunter comes back. He's not going down without a fight. This is like an Irish hooligan football field fight. He's not giving up. He's coming forward. Just like I said before, the gloves are the only thing stopping them from collaring each other and with the left hand and then following it up with the right uppercuts. Oh, I, saw, I think I saw a bit of a headbutt there from the bounty hunter, and the bounty hunter might be having nightmares after that first round, Shay. Well, blue corner is... Definitely stoked um, as soon as their fighter came back into the corner. Be interesting to hear what the red corner has to say. You know, when you come in from a 10 8 round, um, best you can hope for when you is the draw. Eat the rope like that, though, the round has to go slightly in favour of the other fighter. Not that we're going to get down to too many clinical judging or scoring of rounds, but would you call that a 10 8 if you had to? If you have, have to. I mean, that was, it was a clear knockdown, uh, uh, I felt. Um, he did well to recover from it. So, so that's the last we'll score of point, points and rounds because once we start getting into that and we try to call the fights, it always, almost goes it the other always way. always goes the other way. Or there, there's always a spanner somewhere. And you never know. You know, the bounty hunter, like I said, he wants to take that bounty home. He wants to get paid. But it might not go down without having a few nightmares from Jamie Nightmare. There he is, right in the pocket again. There, there's that is, left Is that arm. even boxing? That's just grabbing and punching to the exactly. body. Oh, little shot there. Nice little the cheeky bounty. shot. I think oh. that ticked him off a little bit. It did. Nightmare coming back, wanting to really disturb the oh, bounty hunter. Beautiful. Throwing right the knee the up there almost as well. Just throwing it's Jake really the Mask. Him up now. Oh! There's a throw just perhaps. A it's, it's just a slip like on the soccer field. He goes down, he's got the shinies on. He's really no Hollywood's in here, though. No Hollywood's in this ring. No, that's right. You know, you see the football players fall down with a flick on the on the earlobe. But tonight, these guys are taking full-on shots to the head and still standing and banging. Look at that. The bounty hunter, Stefan Hunter, coming forward, not going down without a fight. He's doing well as well to stay on his feet. These oh. are big shots he's taking. What's going on there? He looked away. He looked the other Tail's way. Tail's been thrown in. That's enough. Boris calls it. That's enough. He's seen enough. Both guys earned each other's respect. Peach Boxing, they've seen enough. They didn't want to see the bounty hunter go through too much more. And Jamie Nightmare certainly living up to his name. Perhaps creating a few nightmares for the bounty hunter there. And saying that though, you take your hat off to both fighters. It takes a lot of guts and balls absolutely, to get in the ring. Absolutely, absolutely. And he has the older of the two by quite a quite a substantial amount. The young fella there celebrating his win. Look, if it had been on the uh, the football field, it could have gone the other way. Thank you. 
Uh, once again, we will need a translator uh, for that one. I'm not sure if he had a few pints before the fight, but I'm sure he'll be having a couple after that.